enforcement besides Grug? Is there any like Drow or Dugar that work for the mages? That oh, there's like they're hired? Yeah, absolutely. There's there's a uh, armor guards, you know, knights, Drow, dwarves. Yeah. There's a couple. You know, you've seen a couple packs wandering around. Hey, Paul. Okay. You hungry? Mages. Uh, hopefully Gimli sees me standing there with a bag, and I'm like he, he eating does. something out of it, just uh, hmm. picking a little something out of it. And I see Gimli, and I'm like, Gimli, you want some of this? I got it from a shop over here. I'm just standing here watching this guy's uh, shop, and I offer him what's in the bag. What I've been You're gonna be around on. here all night? Ah, uh, dude, I haven't seen anything odd out of the ordinary and all that stuff. Do give you a heads up that uh, Cobalt I ran into said he was gonna throw a muffin at you in the morning time. But besides oh, that, boy. nothing oh, out boy. of the ordinary, man. Everything's been seems to up and up and all that. But yeah, I hit the shop over there that sells some fine cuisines like rattlesnakes and uh, uh, he sold me this bag of stuff. It looks like looks pretty good. You want some? No, it was called the Shanghai Special. Yeah, it, it, the it's Underdark not that bad. Special. Like sort but, of like mystery meats. No, thank you. But All yeah, right. except for that, no. Nah, How just, long are you gonna be out here? Uh, I'll come back and hang out with you guys, and uh, I just, like I said, giving that guy that dagger, man, just makes me, makes me nervous. That's it. I wouldn't worry about it. If we had anything to worry about, they'd be honest by now. Okay. And uh, I think me and Gimli probably have a conversation going back and forth of what all they did while uh, I was m away from the party and all that on our sure. way back to the end. All right. Let's go get some chow. Okay. Some good chow. A couple minutes go by. You, you get back to the, the Half Moon house. Let's go ahead and take a uh, let's take a break. It's after 10. I can't believe it's after 10 already. Man, time, time flies by when you're having fun, doesn't it? Holy cow. Absolutely. Great job. You know, I, I love doing this type of, you know, uh, I like doing this type of exploration in a, in a town so you can actually see what each location is instead of me just putting down locations 1 through 20. And uh, I'm going to probably redo this map also. I was working on it. I've already started working on it, but I'm going to get rid of all the numbers. And well, I was going to. I'm not now, but and then we. I was going to put one number down there at a time for you, but like I did in the Pathfinder game. But yeah, no big deal. We'll just keep it like this now. Yeah, I, I like this way. This way it's much more um, interactive. Yeah. With the so you actually know area. what's going on exactly, Ren. Like before, if you got like when you went to Winterhaven, I give you all the locations. You never went to any of those places, you know what I mean, except for the inn or to bear ones. So that's that's why I want to start doing this type of thing to where you guys. That's why start. I. Uh, I, I like this my much guide. much better, much much better. So, all right, I'm a guide so of a guide. I like it. So we're gonna get back. You guys can. You guys will be at the. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Yeah. Where I'll see you guys in like ten minutes. We meant we were asking for him earlier, but we haven't seen him yet. Haven't seen who? Bendel, the halfling that we saved oh, yesterday. You see, oh, yeah. you see him waiting a couple tables. You see him serving several tables. Hmm. He seems a bit busy. I'll probably talk to him later. Oh, I'm sure you could probably you could probably pull Rendell over. I'm sure he'll he'll probably stop by. <laughs> she is like mowing that stuff down. It's so funny. Actually, yeah, Rendell Rendel stops over at the table. Hey, everybody! Is he feeling more himself today, I ask? Oh, feeling much better. I kind of slept in a little late, so I got a, low, got a slow start, but uh, I am feeling much better. Thanks again for uh, saving my hide. I hope uh, I hope my aunt's been taking care of you. Everything's been great. Good. good. Very well. Did you check out uh, the seven pillared halls? Did you Did you get a good look around? Do you need me to take you around, show you show you the everywhere? 
I can do that if you want. I'm sure. I'm sure my aunts will let me take some time off. I think we ran into everything that we uh, were looking for. Oh, what do you know of this uh, this guy that living in that pigeonhole right next to the door to the Eye of Chambers? Oh, he he's a great tracker. He's a uh, he's actually the, probably the best tracker that we have here here in the town. Well, here in the Seven Pillars. Are you are you talking about uh, you're talking about uh, uh, you're talking about Terrellin, right? Darkseeker. Right. Yeah, he's he's good. He'll get you back safe. You, I remember yesterday you were talking about going to the Chamber of Eyes. Is that is that where you guys are? Did you find anything out about the Blood Reavers? Did you find anything out? Not much. Because I remember Did you find that's out anything about. That's who they were gonna sell me to. I, I remember they kept they kept mocking me. Yeah, I, I I tried um, to find a. I, I think I found a buyer for your stuff too. That's on the wagon. Uh, we've got a, a drow merchant here in town, and he 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 sometimes he does some dealings on, you know, pretty quietly. So if if you want to check out, uh, I think you might have. I think you might already know him. I. Th I think you were you said you were looking for this guy, but a Skendar. Has he given you a price yet? Nah, he didn't he didn't give me a price because he needed to see, he needs to see what what kind of products he's buying. I, I just told him that uh, I, I knew where I could find some armors and stuff. Okay, yeah, we we kinda touched on the situation with him earlier today, so I greatly appreciate it if we set something up with him since you know him. Would it uh, be a problem for him to come collect here? Well, or do we have to drag this stuff? Out. Oh, well, he doesn't want uh, his name involved. Uh, I, I have a, I have a way that I can get it over to him tonight. So I'll, I'll head over there, contact him, and, and I'll deliver everything tonight. That'll be perfect. Yeah, every, everything shuts down pretty early, so uh, it's like they, they fold the streets in. <laughs> Uh, when the sun goes down, but the sun never goes down. But anyways, I'll, I'll take care of it for you. I'll, I'll have your uh, your payment probably Perfect. tomorrow. That way, you you won't have any problems uh, getting your money. I'll take care of it for you. Oh, hey, Rambo. Yeah. Have mm -hmm. you heard anything about these uh, bugbears, the gang? Uh, oh, you're talking about what? Uh, the yeah. red eye? Yeah, what the what the house put up? Uh, I, I guess they pissed them off. This is the first time I've 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 heard of this red eye bugbear gang. I it it seems like they're they're on one of the highways. I, I have no clue which one, but uh, maybe I'll try to find some info out for you. That'd be nice. Keep your ears open, eyes sharp. Yeah, that'd be nice. Never heard of the red eye bugbear, be bugbear, but it doesn't seem like they're up to any good. I guess they they committed some murders. I, I don't. Maybe this is a, you know, we we had some dealings with uh, Menuel and a couple other adventurers too that that were staying here for several weeks. Uh, the, the Red Glar and and Yarky and and we never saw them again. And my aunt, she let their stuff stay here for another two weeks. So. She had to go to the custom house and fill out paperwork, and you know she had this morning there was a seizure, so of where my my aunt got all of their stuff to pay for their bill. Oh, okay. maybe maybe they were taken by the Red Eye Gang too. I I I just simply couldn't tell you. Keep your ears open. What type of pipe weed are pipe weed are you smoking, Glim Gimli Grim? It's the good stuff. Hmm. Nothing wrong with a little pipe weed, Gimli Grim. So, is there anything else that Rendell can help you with? Um. Uh, have you been down to the ale bar? Oh, the ale. Uh, the location ale house. Seventeen down oh, there. Oh, location seventeen. You mean? Oh, you mean lot number seventeen? You mean Rothar's tap room? Oh, that place is full of swine. That's where all the orcs hang out, Gimli Grim. And he says it very, very, very low. That's where the orcs and the, and the kobolds and the goblins hang out. My aunt don't allow them here. 
They make too much of a mess. They always break stuff. And then we got to get Blug involved, and then, th then he starts breaking more. It's just not good. Well, okay, thanks for the information. <laughs> You're very welcome. Who's who's your new friend here? I don't remember seeing him. Oh, this is uh, Leopold Kane. He slept in, and he just recently came in this morning. Yeah, these jerks here left me in uh, all the way back where we started from Winter Haven, and all that. It and I just got in that you slept Watch in. Watch your mouth. So, oh, really, actually, I should be mad at these two over on this side and not these two on this side. Is, is this the same Leopold Kane that I that I would read the little copper pamphlets of the adventures of Leopold Kane and Splug? Is this the same? Uh, this this yes, can't sir. be. That no. Unbelievable. Here in my presence. Oh, in the half it, moon inn. Unbelievable. If you want me to sign a copy? I, uh, it'll, it'll be a gold piece. <laughs> I, st I stopped reading those when I was a kid, though, but I don't have them anymore. Nice to meet you, though. You're a nice guy. <laughs> I, figured yes. I, had to, I had to rub that in his face. Thanks for killing Splog, bud. You're welcome. <laughs> Without even phasing Ren, he just said, I kill him. He sends me a tell. I just kill him. I'm like, what? I, All I of my visions just... Somewhere. My visions of grandeur just faded before me when he said I attack. I'm like, oh no. Uh, I t I just, uh, any reported NPC, I'll be there to kill him for you. That's it. I'll, I'll, I'll sacrifice for the good of the team. <laughs> Alright, so what do you guys want to do? Well, since, uh, number 17 has Orc, Goblin, Cobalt. Oh boy. Oh Fine. boy. Uh, oh boy. That would be a good place uh, to ambush the ogre, wouldn't you think? Are you wanting to ambush? Oh, oh my you god. Are down. you really? Uh, Alright. I'm kind of interested in the Chamber of Eyes, maybe hiring that. Uh, Riv Gimligram. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going to the Chamber of Eyes instead of trying to cause a. Disturbance Cause commotion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You want to go there? Let's go there. It is chilly. It is. We'll do it. Frog if we ever no, you... to it. An insulated I mason jar. I was just up a An way awesome, to expensive corner mason jar. You know? <clears throat> I got it as a Christmas present. It is an awesome mason jar. Uh, if if you want if you want to uh. Attack Brug, Gimli Grim. You're more than welcome to attack the enforcer of of the Seven Pillared Halls and his entourage. I'll sell tickets. <clears throat> it's okay, hon. Slow down. Chew your food. <laughs> We're all thinking about how bad this could turn out. He just keeps talking. I want to get this ogre. <laughs> you right there, Ren? Heaping bites, though. You got some heaping bites going on there. <laughs> I bit off more than I can chew. No, it was, it was just a thought. If you don't want to do it, fine with me. We'll probably meet up with him in the battlefield later on. So you want to go to the? You want to go to the end? To the end? Ale house? No. no. Hey nope. Gimli, I'm yeah. I'm all for going to that game uh, that ale house with you tonight if you want to. Now don't you two go starting trouble right now. I I'm just thinking that we could get information. That's it. Nothing else. Not to start mm. anything. I know how to speak their language. 
Gimli could just be there for in case thing turns south. Not to mention you gotten us into quite a bit of trouble. Oh really? I'm the one who's busted in rooms and houses and things like that and just wiped out people. Point at Gimli. <laughs> You know, I don't know, but you did, definitely did kill the I'm flag. beginning to be very unhappy with one you. One person. One person. Only the ones that deserve it. So what do you guys think? If you guys want to hit the swine house, <sighs> that's fine too. Um... I'd like to go to the Chamber of Eyes and see what these blood reapers are. Well, let's go. Let's go to the Chamber of Eyes and pick up our guide. I already paid for it. Sounds good, Kimberly. Mm, all right. <laughs> Probably the wisest wait, choice. Wait. Let me finish my food first. <laughs> Probably the wisest choice. Well, I don't want to ruin your wait. appetite. You aren't going to leave right now. Go ahead and finish what you're eating here at the inn, and then we'll leave. <laughs> You don't seem very happy about uh, not going to the uh, bar, Leopold. No, I'm all for going to that bar. I think it'd be a good idea. I think we could get some good information from there. Well, let's do that first before we head out, if we have time. <coughs> sure. All right. So you guys head over to Rothar's tap room. Walk inside. The Dave patrons. In mage armor. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stay outside and watch the stairs coming up for any trouble. All right. So I'm just gonna go in for supervision. Quillen's <laughs> outside. And, and I tell Gim to stay calm. That's it. Just stay calm. We're just here to ask questions. You know, it looks like I'm gonna beat up on somebody. Yes, you do. Always look like you're gonna beat up on somebody. <laughs> Alright, so and as Gimlegrim, Leopold Kane, Wren, and Farlan walk inside of the mm. Rothar's tap room, you can see that uh, uh, you open the door and a, 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 a wall of pipeweed smoke just billows out of this place. As you start to walk in, you can see that there are uh, a very unsavory bunch of patrons, including orcs, goblins, gnolls, duogar. And it seems like they all basically stopped talking with one another, and they're all looking at you. Uh, let's see. Order something to drink. Yeah, let's go sit down somewhere and all that. We find an yeah. empty chair and sit down. Dave? Sure. Uh, I'm going to go outside the bar. <laughs> okay. If, there is, there is, if there's no one around the corner... I would like to cast invisibility. If the, if they're, I'll look around. Yeah, in middle of the day, you're able to you're able to sneak around back really quick and, and cast it upon yourself. I'll do that and try to stay away from, you know, people's paths and try to All stay right. away from. A couple people, they kind of feel like a. Like a like a burst of wind hit him or something, and so you get in. Yeah, well, do you just open up the door and walk in, or or what? No, no, I'm cognito. I'll wait for somebody to. So it lasts for an hour, or, right? Or yeah, it lasts for an hour. Okay, all right. So a couple minutes go by, and you know, a couple couple patrons, a couple drow patrons open up the door. They walk in. You're able to sneak in behind them. Now, okay. Gimligrim, Leopold. Ren, you two, you three, walk up to the bar, and what appears to be an ill-tempered half-orc comes up to you and say, says, what do you want to drink? You said you wanted something to drink? Order it, or leave. And, God, and, God. and wel welcome to, welcome to my, welcome to my, my tap house. I'm Ro Rothar. It's, it's it's my hospitality that I extend to you. My name is Rothar Dwarf. R O T H. I'm Gimli. Well met, Gimli. 
And he throws down a tankard of meat in front of you. I throw a gold piece down. Finest that I have, sir. Sorry that I, uh, uh, the, the mood had changed as you walked in. Uh, we're not used to seeing the patrons of the Half Moon Inn frequent us. Yeah, well, well, you don't have many dwarves down here, do you? We've got plenty of dwarves. Yeah, you can see that there's dwarven miners down here. Mountain dwarves like you, Gim. Well, then you shouldn't have no surprise. There's duagar, there's drows, there's goblins, there's kobolds, there's drow, deep gnomes. What brings you here? What brings you to Rothar's? Rothar, I'm, we're just here to hopefully get some information and uh, get some oh. help with... What kind of information? Well, that is our business, sir. Uh, you said that you were looking for information. I'm uh, Information is not free, Gimli Grimm. Who in here would know the most so we can talk to them? I hear everything. Stuff. <laughs> stuff, huh? Yeah, stuff well, and things. Well, stuff and things cost money, pal. Hey, Dave, uh, one of the things I get confused on is uh, gems to gold. What's one usually one. one gem? One for one? One, okay. one for one. So if you, if you want to give somebody a 20 gold piece gem, just deduct 20 gold worth of gems. Okay, cool. It, 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 how I do gems is a little bit different than probably most other DMs. I, I don't want the, the micromanagement of 500 different gems on your sheet. So just say that you got you know, 500 golden gems and saying I got three 10 gold piece gems and two 20 gold piece gems and if it, it's just man my level 31 cleric had like three and a half pages of gems that was just way too much shit so okay i i just wanted to make sure because i got more gems than i do one gold for one and, yep okay cool. uh, i bend over and whoa hey and, and, <laughs> hey now give me the gram i'm me not that uh, type of orc hush up now <laughs> i i bend over and i whisper in Ren's ear you and me let's get out of here so, uh, Ren and I turn around. Thank you, sir, for the ale. I walk out. Did you drink it all, Gimli Grimm? Definitely. All right. It... Elf, what, what, what say you? You're, you're, you're looking just... for information? I'm just a babysitter. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gone. You I'm coming? trying to remember everything. Uh, I first asked to give him uh, 30 gems, and I'm I asked here. him to tell me what he knows about uh, Gandaria, G Gandia. You know the the one I uh, drow. Oh, are you talking about Gendar? Yeah, Gendar. Sorry. I'll take your money for that, and he take he takes your 30 golden gems and puts them in his pocket. And he goes, Gendar's a drow. He runs Gendar's curios and relics, and you can get all kinds of nice stuff there. Thanks for the gold. So he's in the up and up. Is not anything illegal going on there? <laughs> this is this is this is the Underdark, pal. This is the Underdark, and and what's your name? You can call me Leo. Leo. No, he yeah. doesn't. He doesn't do anything illegitimate. None of us do. Seven Pillared Halls is a is a beautifully run establishment. This whole place is the the cream to the crop, just like Winterhaven and Fallcrest and Harkenwald. Well, I heard he was uh, trying to get a hold of a uh, a ritual dagger. Do you know anything about that? <laughs> A ritual dagger? I, I have no clue. Well, do you know if anybody who'd be interested in buying one besides him? <laughs> no, but I can find out for you if you want. I'll How go, much would it cost? I'll go talk to Gendar myself. I know Gendar pretty good. Hey, you just don't include my name in it, okay? Uh, uh, well, if it comes back, it's not going to bite me, Leo. Well, just put oh it on... God. uh some ugly short dwarf coming by and asking questions. 
Where do you want me to send this information to? Are you staying over at the Half Moon with the, with the Dwarf and the Cleric? I'll come back by and pick it up. Oh, please do. What was that? Uh, I'm having a moment. What was the name of the cult that we're trying to find information on about? Blood Reapers. Blood Reapers. Blood Reapers. And I take out another 40 gems and I give them that and I'm like, what do you know about the Blood Reavers? Mm, the Blood Reavers. He takes her. I feel bad for doing this, but hey, thanks for the gems. He takes your gems and he goes, oh, the Blood Reavers. Never heard of them. You sure? Never heard of them. Give me an insight check, Leopold. See you, Anna. You don't think he's telling you everything? Never heard of him. You said Leo, right? Yeah. Never heard you know of what? him. I got a feeling you're lying to me. And the last person who lied to me, I took them and I pulled them really close to me. I told them how much I love them. No. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I just <laughs> had to do that. I took them and made him disappear. Now, you tell me everything you know about the Blood Reavers, so, or I'm gonna stab <laughs> you in your throat, and I'm gonna get back my gold, and not a damn person in here is gonna do anything about it. <laughs> uh, so he, behind him is a, a beautiful ax, and he grabs his ax off of the wall, lots of bone trinkets hanging down, and when he grabs the, the ax, the blade starts dripping blood and he sets it on the counter in front of you and he said the last person that threatened me in my bar his head is hanging up over here and he points and there's four or five heads that are hanging down from the wall on leather straps word of warning my friend I would leave you're asking word too of many warning. questions. Can you point me in the right direction then? I mean, you got like. There's the door. My... There's the door, friend. Thanks for the 70 golden gems. I'll see you around. And now, all of a sudden, you now he's speaking louder, and all of the other orcs are starting to stand up. The goblins are starting to stand up. The duogar are starting to stand up. The the deep gnomes are starting to stand up. I I, I walk out. I All walk of their out. hands are on their daggers, on their swords. And I leave. I leave. My bad. I you have a great day. Well. Thanks. Come again. Tell your friends to come again. As as you shut the door, you can hear all of this laughing inside, Leopold. Then you hear, give me a perception check, Leopold. As just as you're fixing to shut the door, let uh, give me a perception check. And there's those perceptions. No, oh. that is a that's not a good roll, Leo. I'm listening for other conversations about the Blood Reavers, or even the uh, Red Eye. That's not a good roll. So, Leo, well, you shut the you door. Like 18 rolls there. Uh, yeah, but it's for perception checks like that, it is always the first roll by default. So Tim At least he had common sense to be invisible. So as, as you left, uh, as the door shut, you could hear a ton of laughter coming from the door. I mean, you could just hear laughter as you as you shut the door. And you can see that Leopold coming out. Wanted it too. Man, they're fucking... This is going to be difficult for them now. Leo, look what you got yourself into. You lost 70 gold, uh, 70 gold and gems on top of getting nothing done. Wow, yeah, I found him in crazy a cave somewhere, so it'd be fun. I can't believe I'm that. I'm standing over by the stairs, and I'm going like this to Leopold. Yeah. Looks like you're in yeah. trouble, Leo. Uh oh. 
<laughs> I know it wasn't the smartest thing again. My bad. Smart. Smart. 